What's up, guys? Today we are back at it again with another cupcake song. So we're just going to jump right into it. Let's see what bars she got today. Instagram hoes shouldn't be all goals. Look past the post, she photoshopped her rolls. Filter so bright, she don't think black holes. That 30 inch weave is to cover her back rolls. It's shocking to you, but not to me. People turning insecurities to mockeries. Shit, I could beat the end of overweight, won't bother me. I'm still choose Burger King over broccoli. I love every inch of my body. Don't compare me to Charlie. Size 7 or 11, I'ma still be a hottie. I dial zero to the lobby. Chop up my stay like karate. Send it up with 10 cups, cause I drip pop like a hobby. I'm thinking rooftop party. Hell yeah, it's about to go up. To shorty put a finger down her mouth, she trying to throw up. So she won't gain weight from listening. Listening to the hate can't give a fool for thought. She'll think a brain gaining weight. Eating disorders, scarier than horrors. She in the buffet and only order a water. Yeah, it's that crate and make you fight your craves. Stretch marks in the bikini, I'm that damn brave. I used to think model type, miss skinny as fuck. So as she Graham came through and started fucking shit up. On cover after cover with no tummy tuck. Trey serve for the curves and got her money up. Call it Biggie Smalls, call it Biggie Smalls. Call it Biggie Smalls, call it Biggie Smalls. Call it Biggie Smalls, call it Biggie Smalls. Call it Biggie Smalls. Catch the larger 4X. Size is just size, one ain't better than the next. Reaching for my food is the only time I stretch. Can't you see I love me and I'm feeling my best? Confidence on 10, I can't break like commercials. Try again and again like you in rehearsal. Stripes on my body looking like Tony the Tiger. Shit so fire, everybody inspired. Body of all shapes, no difference, they all great. I'm eating out the pot if you make me a small plate. You could call me fat at anything under the sun. At the worst, I'ma still go buy a honey bun. At the last of wrong once, man, it's clear as day. Go to doctors to get implants, but they rent ain't paid. Straight up, fuck dude if you don't like small boobs. Manipulating your mind like you've been a lost fool. Give him the boot like that has. Tell a nigga bye bye. Nigga point my flaws out. We back to play I spy. I spy a nigga with a big ass head. And we ain't talking about that one in between his legs. If you ain't got no ass, just hit a couple squats. Ain't no need for a doctor inject bus shots. Don't turn to the media looking for what's hot. They'll steal your ass wrong like drivers drinking some rock. Epic failed on the scale, but she still looking swell. Gotta get well, be like a snail. Come up out of that shell. Think she big like a whale. The other thing she too frail. Both gotta understand that they gorgeous as hell. Call it Biggie Smalls, call it Biggie Smalls. Call it Biggie Smalls, call it Biggie Smalls. Yeah, that is, that's actually a super powerful song. Um, there are certain lines in here that I do really like, and there are certain things that I, um, it is so true, honestly. Like, you see so many people that want to look a certain way, but they want the easy way to get there, and so they either go directly to plastic surgery or implants or injections or whatever instead of being like okay I'm going to put in the work go to the gym for six months and try to get in better shape and like you know like there is a difference between body positivity and um the body positivity movement, if you will. Um, and I think she makes a great point. Like who gives a flying fuck about who's criticizing you for how you look. Um, 
because their opinion ultimately doesn't matter. Now, if you are in a situation where your health is in danger and you're like, no, I, I love who I am. I like how I look. I'm then it's a little bit like, well, I'm concerned for your health because I would rather you lost a few pounds and your blood pressure went down and you made things easier on your body to function because I, I like you and I'd rather have you around for quite a few years instead of losing you early because you didn't take care of your health, you know, and I'm not saying that everybody who has weight issues or eating disorders is like at fault, you know, like I'm not saying I'm not tr I'm not shaming anyone here. I'm saying that. Um, fuck it. I'll use myself as an example. So I'm not very tall, right? And I weigh a lot more than if I stand on a scale, I weigh a lot more than I should, right? And that's, I, I'm not necessarily happy with what I look like. I'm not like, yeah, I look great. Cool, you know, this is awesome. I'm like, I'm going to go, I, I, my wife and I, we go to the gym a lot. Like we go to the gym at least five times a week. And we're in there and we're working because neither one of us is satisfied with where we're at. Now, that's not saying I hate how I look because I don't hate how I look because I've, I see the progress that's taking place. And I'm really proud of um, the consistency that I've seen in the gym and the progress that's taken place there. And I think I would encourage anybody and everybody go to the gym go to a real gym that's not a social club and work your ass off and you will see results and there are things we can't change necessarily like you know we can't change w like I'm, I'm talking like by going to the gym you can't change your eye color at the gym you can't change how your nose fits on your face you can't change your ear size at the gym but you can change a lot of things that people have issues with when they look in the mirror so learn to like and accept the things about you you can't change like i have a big ass nose and i i'm perfectly aware of that i get that and if you tell me i have a big ass nose i'll be like yeah i can see my nose without a mirror like i can see it right there so you know fuck you and i have a big nose cool uh, you didn't tell me anything new i'm not gonna loop, cut my nose off because you mentioned it you know and but I will say it's one thing to be proud of your body and who you are. It's another thing to be okay with your health being in jeopardy and you basically committing slow suicide because you just are stubborn and you don't want to go to the gym. And now I'm, I'm tracking. There are health conditions that make you gain weight. There are... Um, things that happen sorry there's a moth flying around in here there are things that can happen to you to ruin your metabolism make your metabolism ridiculously fast and then you can't gain weight or the opposite your metabolism is really slow it could be thyroid issues whatever but and i understand that so i'm not saying shame on you who have health issues i i have health issues too i get that um my health issues aren't necessarily weight gain but there are other things and um, I understand that you can't always change your health, but you can do what you can. And as long as you're doing what you can, then don't listen to people that are going to criticize you because most likely they're jealous that you're confident and that you're working hard and they're not, you know. So overall, I think this is a great song. I think it's a great message. I think she chooses to go in a direction that many people don't like like i said a lot of people will just say w you have to accept everybody for exactly how they are right but do you want do you really want that like do you want all your friends to look at you and accept you for how you are right now or would you rather they look at you and be like, I see so much potential in this person. I see so much more they could be. So I'm going to push them 
to become more than they even think they can be because I see something so much bigger for them. And if they realized it, they would be unstoppable, you know? So food for thought, just think about it. But thank you guys for watching. And yeah, that's, this is an interesting topic. And as usual, she lays down great lines. She has great rhymes. She has great flow. Like it's really good. It It is. And Thank you for suggesting this. I really, I really liked it. I stand behind this message like a hundred percent. So really cool. Anyway, before I keep blobbing on and on and on, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace.